This is 2019, Amy 1 problem number 12, and here is a view of this problem. So basically the question is telling you that uh, z, f of z, and f of f of z, these are three uh, complex numbers, and in the uh, coordinate plane, in the complex plane I should say, uh, they form a right uh, triangle, where the right angle is at the vertex f of z. So basically you have something like this, uh, I don't know, maybe z is here, and then f of z is, oops, let's draw it a little bit smaller, uh, we won't have enough space, oh shoot, okay, but anyhow, um, okay, so something like that, if you will, so this is uh, f of, oops, this point here is f of z, and this one is f of, f of z, so you have these three points, and apparently we have a 90 degree angle in between them here, and uh, basically the question is uh, to um, to find the value of z, right? Uh, well, one such value of z um, will be as such. Okay, so how to, how to do that? Uh, so the, I, I can think of basically two, uh, let's go ahead and draw this segment as well. Uh, I can think of just two uh, ideas, and I think both of them work. Uh, so one of the idea is uh, to uh, use distance formula, basically, hypotenuse, so c squared equals a squared plus b squared, that should work. Uh, and uh, other one, uh, which is the one that I will employ right now, is uh, to just shift that 90 degree vertex onto, translated, I should say, onto the origin of the complex plane, and do so for z and f of f of z as well, the other vertices as well, and then make this rotation business. Luckily, complex numbers are awesome in rotations. Uh, in this case, if you want to rotate by 90 degrees, we will just multiply by the complex number i. Okay, so let's just uh, put all this into action. So uh, pretend that, uh, obviously, we don't know where exactly the, the plane is, but for instance, let's say that this is where uh, the complex plane is. This is, uh, let's make it a bit smaller. So this is the real part, and this is the imaginary axis, so imaginary axis. And we go ahead and, uh, well, translate these. So basically, I just subtract f of z from all three points. So subtract f of z here, subtract f of z. It's kind of like uh, doing the parallelogram technique, right? So, so ba basically, we end up here. So this point right here is uh, z minus f of z. And I'll do the same thing here. Uh, so probably something like that. Yes. And this point here is f of f of z minus f of z. Now we have our uh, new uh, right triangle. This is still a right triangle. All I did was to shift this triangle uh, into a new position, right? So into into here. It's still a right triangle, decidedly. And oh, this point is obviously the origin now. And now the idea is if you in uh, if you start with this complex number. All you do is if you multiply it by i, uh, that will make a 90 degree rotation for you. The only thing uh, which uh, will be kind of, uh, uh, it will not exactly fall onto this point, right, after the rotation. Why? Because these two distances are not necessarily equal. So after the rotation, suppose that it falls onto this point. So we can we need to still scale it, right? So, uh, so basically what we say is that um, uh, z uh, minus f of, z, if I simply uh, multiply it by i, so let's go ahead and multiply it by i, uh, that would simply be k times, k, where k is, a, is, a, is, just a, uh, is just a real number, so k is a real number, uh, k times uh, this expression, right, so, uh, so k times uh, f of f of z minus f of z. Okay, yes, that's good. All right, so uh, now we can just go ahead and substitute. So the expression f of z was just this one, z squared minus 19z. So this is just i times, so on the left-hand side, so that would give us z minus uh, z squared plus 19z. And on the right-hand side, we have k times. Okay, so first let's substitute uh, z squared minus 19z into it. So we'll get z squared minus 19z substitute it into itself again, so square minus 19 times z square minus 19z. 
minus again uh, minus z square minus 19z right so this whole thing minus Whew. okay so um now the rest is just cleaning up uh, okay, so I don't like this color to be honest. Okay, um, so this would imply uh, because the rest is just algebra. Uh, let's if you um, well, okay, so let's just do it anyways. So i times well, I can factor out a z here. So z, uh, twenty z minus z squared. So z factored out. Uh, so I'll just be left with twenty minus z on the left hand side. And now the right hand side is the side where I want to really do some uh, calculations. So k times open parenthesis. So I can factor out a z here. So w this will give us a z square. And then I will be left with z minus nineteen square. And then here I will have minus 20 times, actually minus 20z times, 20z times, uh, z minus 19, z minus 19 on the, um, I hope it's correct. Um, and then, uh, so that would further imply, okay, so I want to put this screen between the picture and this, the algebra part. Uh, well, it seems like there's a z on the left hand side, uh, which just cancels with the square here and then this z here so basically what is left is on the left hand side we have i times uh, 20 minus z that's a minus sign equals k which is a real don't forget uh times uh, well uh there's z minus 19 which you can factor out again so actually i don't even need that anymore so times 19 minus uh, sorry z minus 19 i should say uh, z minus 19 and there's just a z times z minus 19 left from the first expression z minus 19 and then there's a minus 20 here okay i hope i again i i, I i'm not very really sure about the algebra but okay let's keep going so k times uh, z minus 19 and then we have well we have z square minus okay so let's write that down z square minus 19 z minus 20 and luckily this factorizes further z minus 19 and then this is just z minus 20 uh, times z plus 1. Whew, that's pretty nice so that this 20 minus z Oh, shoot. Okay. 20 minus Z and Z minus 20 cancel. So I need to really, so that will give me a minus one. So therefore, so this would imply, so we need, uh, so uh, we have I, actually, let's also move that uh, K onto the left hand side. So on the left hand side, we really have zero plus one over K I. So I just added this silly zero here as well is equal to on the right hand side. We remember there's also a minus, so I can just multiply here 90 minus Z times uh, z plus 1 and let's just go ahead and expand this so that's just 19 z um, plus 19 minus z square minus z which is just okay so let's just combine it i guess minus z square uh, plus 18 z uh, why did i do that i don't know why i did this uh, okay so plus 19 okay fine okay let, let's stop right here before i go further um at that step because we want to calculate that complex number z which has this shape if you will we are interested in the real part of it the real right because the imaginary part is not so the real part let's call it a and then the imaginary part is 11i so a plus 11i we can substitute huh? substitute substitute uh, uh, because m plus square root n I'll, i'm just calling it as a so substitute z equals a plus square root uh, um, 11i uh, okay so now substituting so uh, we would get well we we can continue our expression so this equal sign let's carry it over here that whole thing is equal to so minus so z square would be a square uh, plus uh, 2a root 11 i wait is was it root 11 or? no it's just 11 oh my gosh where did i find that root Okay, so just 11i. Okay, I was thinking, wait, that's too complicated. Okay, so really 22ai, right? So 22ai, uh, and then i squared again, so uh, minus 121. Okay, so that takes care of this one. So plus uh, 18a plus uh, 18, 180, 198, 198i, and then plus 19. Whew. And then uh, finally, let's do one more step. If you will, we can just organize everything. Let's first write down the real part. So the real part is minus a square 
this is imaginary, so plus 121 plus 18a plus 19. That's the real part. And the imaginary part is um, minus 22a, 22a, and then plus 198i. Whew. Okay, and finally we can set them equal to this. So the real part better be equal to zero. So this whole expression is equal to zero. And then this guy is here is one over k. I'm really not worried about this one because regardless of what number comes out of here, because k is uh, any scalar, so I can always make it, I can always calculate its reciprocal. So this is uh, irrelevant. So what's relevant is this part now. Uh, we can just now uh, go ahead and so therefore, uh, and as a, multiplying probably by minus 1 as well, we get a square uh, minus 18a minus 140 is equal to 0. Using the quadratic formula, a is equal to uh, 18 plus or minus square root of 18 square is 324 minus 4 times minus 140, all divided by 2. Okay, so this is really bad. Let me do it again. Okay, all divided by 2. And that's just 18 over 2 is a 9. And then there's a factor of 4 and 4 here. So factoring out the 4, there's an 81 left here. So plus or minus. And factoring out the 4 outside the square root will give you a 2. It will cancel with that 2. So we will be left with square root of 81 uh, plus 140, which is just 9 plus or minus square root of... 221 so that's uh, the potential values a can take i think we are interested in the one with a plus here so therefore uh, z is equal to uh what did we say uh nine plus nine plus square root of two to one plus uh, eleven i right well um, obviously, like I said, uh, you can always uh, make it work uh, on the other side. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, so this is always 11i here. Um, so and that's it. So therefore, m is nine, n is two to one. Nine plus two to one is two three zero is the value, the desired value that solves this problem. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, looking forward to see you guys in our next video.